I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration, in Gorm, Maine. This is a really nice shaker rocker. It uh, seems to be the real thing. Uh, it's in good shape, but it has been refinished in the past. So it's a little hard to tell at age. That would be a real clue. But certainly it appears to be. It's in good shape, except for one thing. The side rail, these rails that support the seat, is broken. So I'm going to try to repair this without removing the seat, but what I'll have to do is take off the arm and the rocker and see how far I can spread this to get a new one in. I want to see if I can loosen this joint here and see if I can loosen at least one of the joints on the rocker. When you're trying to loosen a joint with some heat, uh, you have to be careful. I've set the heat gun just on a medium heat. Uh, I use a timer. Uh, I try to do each joint for two minutes and then I'll tap it. You have to be uh, really careful and watch carefully so you don't see, you don't want to scorch the wood or, or bubble the finish. One of the things I really like about this heat gun and it's important is that it stands up really easily like that because your tip is really hot. You can't have a heat gun that you have to lay down or worry about. I'll glue that later. So now I'll try uh, tapping these, see if I need to use any heat or not. Now I'll use a spreader clamp to see how far this opens up for me. And a spreader clamp is just a basic one-handed clamp, but it's designed to be able to switch these two pads around. All right, well, I've got it spread uh, quite a bit here. I don't uh, really know if it's enough or not yet, but now I'll start uh, getting this out and figuring out the length of the new piece and uh, seeing if I need, if this will work. Oh, this is good. It's, it's just these two pieces. I'll know exactly how long it's supposed to be to the shoulders. Uh, I don't know yet how long the tenons are going to be. It depends on what I can work with here.
so this looks like it might, might just work. So I actually glued the old one together, just to use it as a model. I've still got to do some shaping, it tapers at the end here. Now I gotta see if I can feed this through the uh, webbing. So I'm having a heck of a time getting this piece where I want it to be. You know, we spread the chair this way and that worked great. I've got the spindle in and out. But once I've threaded it through the webbing, I'm having a really hard time pulling it this way, you know, across the width of the chair. I've rigged up another type of clamp. This is a small pony clamp, and I reversed the tail and head on this to make it into a spreader clamp, too. I've got to see if I can get the clamp on the spindle and push it over to where I need it to be. Boy, it is, uh, it is so close. In fact, it looks like it's, it really looks like it's ready to go in there. Maybe I should go ahead and start gluing it before I go any further. Now, I'm going to use uh, yellow carpenter's glue on this job. Uh, the hide glue sets up too fast. I need a slower working time. Uh, even today, it's a warm day. Even this will set up a little quickly, but uh, I'll see what I can do here. Yeah, I think I only need the one clamp here. It seems fine. I just got to get the, the webbing back into place. And actually with the screw in there, I no longer need this clamp. All right, now I'll go over the uh, entire chair with the uh, beeswax polish. So there you go. It's a really nice shaker rocker. Side rail was broken. I was able to replace it. It was close call though. But uh, this is a really nice rocker. The shaker rockers like this. It's just a classic form. Uh, maybe it's an iconic form. but. Uh, it's a real American antique, and I think it looks pretty good.